Hey, what's going on YouTube? iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform a semi-tether jailbreak for iOS 6.1.3. Now, if you're not familiar with a semi-tether jailbreak, I'll explain what that is uh, further down on the video. Now, first of all, this only works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation. So, only, all, uh, only those three devices. People that are waiting for the new jailbreak on 6.1.3 for newer devices, stay tuned. Uh, we don't know yet if there's going to be one available, but if there's one available, of course, I will bring it to you the, immediately it becomes available. So, uh, first off, let me show you this iPod Touch is running iOS 6.1.3. So, there it is, 6.1.3. And also, make sure that before you begin right here where it says Auto Lock, make sure you set that to Never. Alright, it's a quick tip, you might want to do that. Alright, so the first thing you want to do on your computer is you want to download the IPSW 6.0. Now, I know we're on 6.1.3, but you must download 6.0. Do not download any other version, not 6.1, not 6.1.2, because it, it won't work with Red Snow. So 6.0 for your respective device. So my iPod Touch 4th generation, I have the IPSW 6.0, which is compatible with the Red Snow, which I'll have in the links down below, so you can download it for yourself. And, of course, uh, go ahead and download Red Snow and launch it. First thing you want to do is go ahead and click this extra button on the bottom part of your Red Snow extras then you want to select IPSW then you're going to select the 6.0 iOS version again I know we're on 6.1.3 but 6.0 is the version that it's compatible with this uh, copy of Red Snow so once you select the IPSW you want to go back and simply click jailbreak now it's going to go ahead and patch all the jailbreak information and you're going to have Cydia and uh, go ahead and make sure Cydia is ticked and click next now we're going to power off our device, okay? And we're going to go through the steps on Red Snow here. We're going to hold down the power button for three seconds, then join it together with the home. Release the power and keep holding down the home button. Again, you can try this yourself. Read the instructions. Let's go ahead and get started. One, two, three, power button. Both buttons together for ten. Five, four, three, two, one release power now only the home button now once you see the image of the hard drive there you can go ahead and release the home button and wait for Red Snow to do its thing. Alright, so the jailbreak is almost completed here. Now once your device is uh, rebooting, go ahead and just keep, uh, keep waiting. The whole process takes about 4 minutes, I would say, around there. Of course, I edited the video for the purpose of the video not being too long. Alright, so once you reach your uh, lock screen, go ahead and slide to unlock. You won't have Cydia yet, alright, so there's nothing on your uh, device yet. What you want to do is you want to go back here in Red Snow, you want to tap back, and you want to select the Just Boot Tether, which is the first option up top. You want to select that option, and we're going to, uh, excuse me, you want to go back, you want to click Select IPSW, very, very important. Select 6.0 one more time, okay, and then select the Just Boot Tether option. Don't forget to select the IPSW or else it will not work. So we're going to power off our device, do the same process again, just like we did before we jailbroke. Now this is a boot tether process. This is uh, every, time, every time your device runs out of battery or uh, you power it off, you would have to perform a boot tether. But with this video semi-tether, uh, it's a little bit different, and I'll keep explaining this uh, down uh, as the video progresses. So let's go ahead and do this process again. Three seconds power. Join it with home.
Okay, so now we just keep holding the home button. So there we go. Once you get the pineapple on your screen, you are good and you should be jailbroken in iOS 6.1.3. So there it is. Go ahead and release the home button now. And let's wait for the final boot. And then I'm going to show you how to install the uh, semi-tether. Now, semi-tether pretty much means that if your device was to happen to run out of battery power and you're not close to a computer, or you power it off accidentally and you're not close to a computer to perform a boot tether, which is what we just performed, uh, to, link, to, to reach the lock screen or the home screen, uh, then the semi-tether helps you get to the home screen to use your device as you normally would, but without the jailbreak stuff. But it still it doesn't cripple you from using your device, so that's why a semi-tether is a really good a thing to have now if you uh if you launch your device and Cydia is not on your springboard just give it some time it will load up there it is as you can see there it just popped up in my device and let's go ahead now and show you guys how to install the semi tether all right guys so now once after you're done jailbroken you want to launch Cydia of course and you want to uh, select your usability okay and let Cydia completely finish loading do not interrupt Cydia guys now this is after you jailbreak the first time you launch Cydia and you must do this, that's the same way I did it, so it works perfectly for you. Uh, but like always, if you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or contact me on Facebook and Twitter, because all the links will be down below, including all the links to the downloads for 6.0 iOS versions of your device and for Red Snow. And remember guys, 6.0 you must download. Do not download any other version or it will not work. Alright? Okay, so city is almost done loading up. Now, when city loads up the first time, it's going to ask you to install certain packages. For the purpose of this video, first click ignore temporarily because we're going to install the semi tethered. You want to go to manage, source, edit, and add. Do not update yet. So, we're going to go ahead and this is the source. There it is the bigboss.org slash semi tether let's go ahead and add that source so there you go ahead and click return to Cydia and we're going to go into the source that we just added and install the semi tether patch. Hit confirm. And we're going to go ahead and hit respring device. And now we are officially semi-tethered on iOS 6.1.3 jailbroken. You can go ahead and uh, if you have to reboot your device or power it off or if it runs out of juice, make sure you use the boot tether option, just boot tether option that I've discussed earlier in my jailbreak process. But before you do the just boot tether, make sure you click select IPSW, select the 6.0 and then perform the boot tether or else it will not work. Once you get the semi-tether application on your springboard, go ahead and launch it and make sure that everything is working properly go ahead and switch this to on and that is it guys you have iOS 6.1.3 jailbroken with red snow so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out somewhat if it did please thumbs up I really do appreciate it guys when you click the like button uh, and uh, once again don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com it's been iDevice I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys on the next one peace